Thank you for stopping by Ballistic Barbecue. On this video, I'm going to be preparing Morgan Ranch American Wagyu teppanyaki style on the Mojo Griddle. Let's get going. All right, not too long ago, the folks over at Morgan Ranch reached out to me and asked me if I'd be willing to try out some of their American Wagyu beef. Took me all of, I don't know, a half a second before I gave them the answer. Of course it was yes. And they sent me some gorgeous steaks, which included beautiful bone-in ribeye, bone-in New York strip, a couple boneless New York strips, and a couple boneless ribeyes. And I'm going to be using one of those gorgeous New York strips for today's video. Now Morgan Ranch is located in Nebraska, but they actually have a plant in Japan. And my contact with Morgan, Jason Morgan, actually lives there in Japan. He answered a lot of the questions I had about their operation and about Wagyu in general. And what Jason told me is that Wagyu has been around for about 150 years. It's considered a composite breed. And basically the Europeans brought over the British cattle and the Japanese crossbred these cattle with their yak. And they liked the way they tasted, kept kind of fiddling around with the crossbreeding and then ended up with what we now know as Japanese Wagyu. Now what Morgan Ranch does is they bring back the live bull, live embryos, other things that are needed to make babies, and they have established a herd, an American Wagyu herd in Nebraska. The uh, first series of crossbred animals is considered F1. That's a 50-50 blend of Wagyu with, you know, heifer or Angus, whatever. And I guess talking to Jason, that's what a lot of the businesses out here are passing off as American Wagyu. Well, what Morgan Ranch is doing is they're taking it to F2, F3, and ultimately F4, which is 93.75% Wagyu. So it's basically Wagyu. And that's what they're actually shipping to your door. And what their main focus is, is genetics. They're looking for those traits that give that really delicious, well-marbled meat. And I cannot wait to cook the stuff, so let's get going. All right, we have the mojo all preheated on top of the Weber but it's not that real hot, hot searing heat like we use here in the West. I'm going to take some, some virgin sesame oil. And basically this is sesame oil that has not been toasted, just so the sesame seeds were not toasted before they extracted the oils. Get some of that on. It's actually got a very light flavor. It's pretty nice. And I'm going to take some thinly sliced garlic. This, we're just gonna season the oil with the garlic. All right, and this is what we're looking for, just a nice golden brown, but not burned. I'm going to set them off to this side here where I have no charcoals underneath this part of the griddle. And now we are going to start cooking up some of our veggies. Start out with some asparagus here. A little zucchini. A little sea salt. Some fresh black pepper. Shiitake mushrooms. These are fresh, not dried. Now we're going to hit it with a little sake. All right, we're ready to cook that gorgeous steak. Let's season it with just a little bit of sea salt. And again, some of that fresh black pepper. All right, I've been watching teppanyaki chef videos now for over a week, and one thing I learned is with Wagyu, you don't want to let the meat stretch because of how soft the meat is and how soft that fat is. So we're just going to kind of flip it off the board. There we go. And we will season this with some sea salt and some black pepper. And we're not really going for that traditional sear again like we do out here in the West. We want to kind of maintain the texture of this beef. Some more of that sake. And 
All right, now we're actually going to split this down the middle. All right, looking done, let's go ahead and plate this up. All right, and here it is all plated up, nice and medium rare on the rare side. Got all the veggies here. I have a sauce made with soy sauce and Japanese daikon. I have a teppanyaki sauce. I'll post the link down below where I obtained this recipe. It's really, really good. And I have fresh grated wasabi. And this is the real deal. Let's give this a try. Look at that. Oh. A little bit of the wasabi on there. Just enough to heat the palate. Ah, oh. wow. I know I say wow on all my videos, don't I? I got to tell you, though, you know, you hear people say, eh, you know, it just tastes like USDA Prime. I can guarantee you. It does not taste like USDA Prime. It's got a certain quality to it. It's just so, so, first of all, so tender. I mean, unlike any USDA Prime you'll ever have. And it does, it actually makes you smile. I, I love this stuff. This is some quality beef, and I'm very, very, very happy that you guys sent this to me, Morgan Ranch. Thank you. Anyway, guys, believe me, there'll be more Morgan Ranch stuff to come. Um, I've got those monstrous, monstrous steaks with the bone ends that I'm going to cook. And uh, I'm going to do more of a Western spin on those. Anyway, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Jason, I owe you big time, bro. Thanks. See you on the next video.